Well, thanks for staying with us here on the AM show. Now, a very important conversation we're about to have because the National Democratic Congress is raising some issues related to the ongoing printing of ballot papers. Director of Elections of the party, Elvis Efriye Ankara, is joining us via Zoom for a conversation. A very good morning to you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Mr. Elvis Efriye Ankara, thank you so much for your time here on the AM show, if you can hear me. Ms. Iris Afriankra, we seem to have a, a very unstable connection uh, to the Director of Elections of the National Democratic Congress, Elvis Afriankra. There, we'll try and see if we can establish contact. Hello, sir. Good morning. All right, we're going to try and raise him again, but here's a report filed by my colleague Manuel Cranting on the subject. Well, the Electoral Commission began the printing of the ballot papers ahead of the December election on October 26, 2020. Now, the main opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, is accusing the Electoral Commission of failing to present to it the ballot statistics for the printing exercise. Professor Joshua Alabi is national campaign coordinator of the party. The Electoral Commission failed to provide the ballot statistics required for party agents to track the number of ballot papers to be printed for each polling station before printing begins. Meanwhile, in all previous exercises, political parties were finished with copies of the ballot statistics before printing began. The Rotary Commission rather directed the NDC to receive copies of the ballot statistics from the printing houses. From the ballot statistics received from the printing houses, as coming from the EC, we have analyzed the figure from 13 regions and observed that there is an excess of over, of over 150,000 ballot papers being printed beyond the extra 5% required. Deputy Director of Elections of the party, Daniel Amate Mensa, gives a breakdown of their findings. Central region has 23 constituencies. The total figure, in addition to the 5% for central region, is 45,750. Averagely, 2,117 per a coincidence. In Bono East, Bono East has 11 coincidences. The total excess is 47,000. Averagely, 4,000 plus per a coincidence. The question is, if a coincidence with a voter population of 24,000 have excess of 7,000, in percentage terms, we are talking about 27.5%. I mean, it is just unbelievable. And the question is, you can't say these ones are a mistake because when you look at the figures, the percentage are not uniform. They are deliberately planned to rig the election ahead of the election itself. Over 150,000. And we believe that currently we are waiting for the ballot statistics for Ashanti region and Western region. And if you look at the spread, we know what we'll be getting from Ashanti region will be more than those that we have revealed to you. Or well, the director of elections of the party, Elvis Ifriya Ankara, says that all attempts by the party to obtain ballot statistics from the electoral commission have proven futile. If you've given the statistics to the printing houses, give it to us. What, what is so difficult? What is the problem? You've given it to the printing houses. Give us copies so that we can validate whatever goes on. That should tell you that this thing was planned. And as my deputy was saying, if you look at the statistics and the way that in specific constituencies you see specific numbers, it shows you a very clear agenda. The party is therefore requesting an immediate explanation from the electoral commission as to the reasons for these extra ballot papers that are being printed. Now we are aware of it. So we want the EC to come and explain to us how come that we have these numbers. And then we'll take it from... And the Director of Elections of the party, Elvis Efriye Ankara, joins us via phone on the back of that story filed by Manuel Kranting. A very good morning to you. Uh, hopefully we can have a better conversation via phone. Yeah, please. So good morning and good morning to all your listeners. Great. And viewers. Mm. So we've seen a detailed report of the allegations that you're making.
This was on Sunday. Have you had any response from the Electoral Commission today, Monday, mm. between the time that you addressed the media and now? No, we, we haven't. Uh, it was at a time we were addressing the media that we were told that uh, a couple of hours earlier, Dr. Bosman Asari, the Deputy Commissioner of the Electoral Commission, had come to the Assembly Press and uh, came to um, call the staff and the party agents and apologized for whatever had gone on. Now, as far as we are concerned, and that apology doesn't make sense. Um, what is the basis for the apology? It means that he recognizes that something went wrong. And if something has gone wrong, why did they allow that to happen in the first place? And what kind of measures are they putting in place for this to Okay, Just offering an apology doesn't solve the problem. Um, we have over 150,000 ballots that have been printed. We should not have been printed. And so, um, as we said in our press conference, mm. the whole but thing uh, appears to have been well planned and orchestrated. Okay, before, and we, all... before we get there, Mr. Friyankra, because you brought the issue with uh, Boss Manasari uh, apologizing there, can you explain exactly why he apologized and what, what he was apologizing for? Okay, so let me just state what the issues are. First of all, in all previous elections, before printing starts, the Electoral Commission provides the various political parties with what we call the ballot statistics. The ballot statistics tells us how many ballot papers are going to be printed per region, per constituency, and per polling station. This is a very normal thing that happens every day. We've never, ever had any issues or challenges with either Dr. Farijan or Charlotte Dossier. It's, it's, it's never been an issue. It's a very normal thing. Um, when they were about to start the printing, we went to them and asked for the ballot accounting. At that time, they told us that they were still working on the register. So they needed to do some adjustments and amendments because of the uh, special voting. Some numbers have been had to be removed from the main register and all that. So we waited Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and every day our team was going back and forth with them. Um, at a point, they said we should go and collect the ballot statistics from the printing houses. And we said, we found that to be very weird and awkward because we don't have any contractual relationship with the printing houses. It's the Electoral Commission that we have a relationship with, both legally and politically. And therefore, they always give us a ballot statistics. So what is the difficulty? If you've been able to give it to the print house, then you also have to give it to us so that we can give it to our agents so our agents can monitor and track. Apart from the ballot statistics, we have another thing they used to give us is the ballot serial numbers. The serial numbers are designed in such a manner that shows the region, the constituency, the district, and the polling station, so that every single ballot can be tracked. So our printing agents have been trained in such a manner that they can track the various serial numbers and know that nothing untoward uh, was being done. In all these things, they didn't uh, respond. So eventually printing started, and when the first batch of printing started, that was when we did an audit based on the report that a printing house gave to us. And then we found out that for every printing, the, the, after the 2012 Supreme Court's verdict, the court directed that in the past, um, after every printing, 10% extra ballots are printed. And the court found out that that 10% is too much. So they should stick to 5% per polling station. Per polling station. And what is happening now is that they are printing 5% per constituency. Now, when you print 5% per constituency, because you need to do averages, so for example, if it is, say, um, 342, uh, it means that it, you run it up to the last, so it becomes 340. If it's 345 or 46, you run up to 300, uh, 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 the, next 300 and the next significant figure. Now, because they are doing it across constituencies, so first of all, the 5% is not being done on a polling station basis, which in itself is very irregular. Then secondly, and more significantly, apart from the normal 5% that we all accept, that you should have 5% that has been directed by the court, we now have in excess of the 5% more numbers being printed. And that is where, so far, of the 13 constituencies, apart from Ashanti, Western, and I think one other region, 
We don't. We have over hundred and fifty thousand ballots that have been put in the system. So the question is, why? Why would you do extra hundred and fifty thousand? And the strange thing is that these extra ballots are in specific constituencies and regions. So you look at specific. It's not something which is just odd. You know, it's deliberate, specific. So you see that it's all being well planned and orchestrated. Wow. And we think that we, 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 we are heading towards a disaster. Okay. It's allowed to go on. So, Mr. Elvis Afriankwa, you did indicate that a deputy commissioner of the Electoral Commission did apologize yesterday, which you say it's not acceptable. Is it an apology to these main issues that you've raised? Well, it's a verbal apology. We, we want them to explain to us properly in writing, you know, exactly what is going on, and to stop it. It must stop. See, again, there's a dimension that we haven't uh, brought Yeah, up. but I just wanted to draw your attention. If there has been an apology, like you say, then this must have been a mistake. So why do you draw the conclusion that this is a grand scheme that will lead to rigging of the election? So, uh, first of all, if somebody comes to steal your goods, and the person has stolen, he didn't tell you he was coming to steal, and you found out that person has stolen, and you draw his attention that, hey, you, you have caught your hand in the soup, and the person apologized. Does that end it? If I came to steal your goods, uh, and then you caught me, and you say, okay, I'm sorry, would you accept it? That's number one. Number two, it is not a mistake. It is deliberate and calculated. And you see... What, ma what makes problem. you draw that conclusion? Sorry? What makes you draw that conclusion of it's deliberate? So I have told you that apart from the normal 5% extra that is supposed to be, uh, to be printed so that in case there are spoiled ballots, they also went beyond that and are printing excess in specific constituencies. That is not accidental. The machines are programmed by people. Do you understand me? Mm. But you say no, you don't have the ballot that, statistics. You beyond don't have that. the ballot statistics and you don't have the serial numbers. Hello. Hello, Hello Mr. Friankra. I just I wanted to draw... It's important that when you ask the question, you allow me to answer the question. I, I appreciate so that, but I... Make sense to your Exactly. Listeners. But I so think... please let me answer the I question. I think the question I'm also asking, if but you take your time and listen, it also makes... You bring another one. I, so I thought that you landed. I just wanted to no, draw your attention to the fact that you say you don't have ballot statistics and you don't have serial numbers. So I wonder what you're cross-checking with. <laughs> I think that um, uh, some of you in the media need to um, listen carefully and educate yourselves about the electoral process. So one, the EC was supposed to have given us the ballot statistics before the printing started. They did not. Now, when we have agents in each of the printing houses, so when the printing is done at every stage, then the print house then gives us the data on what they have printed so far. Now, when we did the analysis of the data of what has been printed so far, that is where we discovered this anomaly. Is it clear? Do you understand that now? We're following you, sir. Okay. Then the next thing is that when we got to Assembly Press, Assembly Press has two facilities within the same compound. Assembly Press staff and the agents agreed that the printing would be done in one facility so that all the agents would be able to monitor effectively what was going on. It was at dawn on Saturday that our agents discovered that printing was being done at another facility within the same premises without the presence of agents. Why would anybody want to do that if there was no ulterior motive? We all agree because the, the essence of having agents is to monitor the process to ensure transparency and openness. Is that not it? So if we all agree that we are printing in, let me use your, 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 your studios as, uh, in your main studio, we all agree that we are printing on Falofa Street. Okay? That is where we'll have agents to monitor, to ascertain whether what they are supposed to do is what they are doing. We all agree. So every agent is there. All the attention is there. And then they find out, we find out that on our blind side, you are now printing in your other studio. Don't you think it raises questions? Any, this, is, this is not rocket science. This is simple, basic, common sense. Mm. That did not raise questions. So you're, you're, you're a big stakeholder in this election. Uh, have you formally notified the Electoral Commission of this anomaly that you described? Yes, we 
enough. We've dispatched a letter to them. And as before then, we had even dispatched a letter about the ballot accounting. We've dispatched a letter about the so-called 30,000 names that they claim they have uh, uh, deleted from. The EC has developed a pension that they don't even respond to our letters. I can cite over eight letters, some signed by myself, some signed by the director of IT, some signed by my deputy, some signed by the general secretary over the past few months or so. The EC never responds to our letters. Mm. But so, this one, they will have to respond. Whether they like it or they, they have to respond. So and, me, uh, we are taking this matter very seriously. We are we, not going to allow them to steal this can, election. Can us. we just go gonna... back a little bit? So how did you know that they were printing on your blind side? How did we know? Yes, sir. How, how did you get to know that they were printing, uh, you know, in, in the not designated place where the printing was supposed to be going on, where you so didn't I, have I agents? Told, I told you we have agents. In, in any case, is that important? Is that, is, I don't think it's essential. Is that, is that no, important? I, th I think it's important, important for all point, of us because we're the, following, the, we're following the, the conversation. The important point is that... Because you did say that you didn't... Or not. Is that not the most important? Yeah, but you said you didn't have agents. So I think it's, it's appropriate that we also get to know how you got we wind of the fact that they were printing there when they were not supposed to. That was not what had been agreed. So we had information. We knew. We heard of it. Our agents there uh, found out. Okay? It, it, this, is, this is so simple and basic that it, I, I have difficulty in understanding your question. There are two facilities within one premises. Mr. Frianko, I think we, I think I understand what you're saying, and I yes, think that I, I think that is, is very important. It appears that you don't understand. That's why I'm repeating. No. So, so, you won't be that so question. when I ask questions, so it's me, only it's only so the people the who are following the conversation the can follow, Mr. Frianko. Are printing, and then we found out that they are printing in the other facility without our knowledge. And you're asking me, how did we know? And I'm telling you, because we have agents in the other facility, they found out that there were some movements going on there, and they went to check. Which you know? I think which is a very fair question that I asked. And then now that you answer, I guess our viewers are also following through. So I want to okay. ask you, now that you haven't received any response for the, from the Electoral Commission, what will be your next move? You will hear from us. Uh, is there any IPAC meeting coming up soon that you want to put this you know, uh, to IPAC? Um, this particular city again has relegated IPAC to the background. Um, they don't call IPAC meetings, and even if they do at all, those are the meetings that they call just to inform. So um, we are going to follow up and insist that there should be an IPAC meeting and insist that they must respond and insist that the anomaly must stop and end. And more importantly, when at the point of packaging, these excess ballots must not be part of the packages that will be sent to the various uh, regions and constraints for unwanted distribution during the election. Okay, M Mr. Fiyankara, two things. Has it got to do with the presidential ballot printing? Both. Both, Both the presidential yes. and parliamentary. Yes, but mainly presidential. What was happening on our blind side was the presidential. Okay. The ballots that were being printed, I didn't know about. They okay. were presidential. Okay. So, what what um, is printing still ongoing, even after what you found? So, um, at that facility, when this was discovered, the printing stopped, and then the printing, the what I call the authorized printing, that has been put on hold, and then the regular printing is ongoing, and that is why. We want to do an audit because when these things are done, the next stage is that they are given the numbers and then they are subsequently backed. And in all these processes, our agents are there to take account. You see, we have a very, very elaborate tracking system. And we have very well trained agents who understand the job and know what they're about. So the point is that all those job ballots must not be packaged and added to the packages that are going to. They must be destroyed because they will open the floodgates for fraud and manipulation of the elections. Mr. Friankra, we will leave it here, but we'll be following up on this matter. In fact, uh, we have the Electoral Commission also joining us. we we'll try and get some answers. Elvis Friankra is Director of Elections for the National Democratic Congress. Spokesperson for the Electoral Commission, Madam Silviano, joins us.
uh, with some answers. Madam Ano, a very good morning to you. I'm sure you are listening closely to Mr. Elvis Efri Ankara. Thank you very much. Don't entirely that I, I get the picture. Okay, but yes, it, okay. So let's let's find out if you have any responses to the two main issues that he raised there. First, the fact that you're printing a lot more ballot papers than we actually need, and the fact that there was also they discovered that there was printing on going on at one side of the printing process on their blind side, and this specific allegation has to do with the assembly press. Thank you very much, and uh, a very good morning to your listeners. First and foremost, let me say that we um, always involve the social act um, in terms of the printing, so that they would observe what is going on, uh, so that nothing happens to the blind side of any political party. And that is the reason the National Commission um, wrote letters to the political party, inviting then to send representatives to the various printing houses. I'm, I'm talking about the seven printing houses selected for um, the purpose of printing panels for the presidential and parliamentary elections. Now, the representatives are present at all the political, uh, at all the printing houses. They are not just there, but they are there to make sure that nothing on board happens. Now, if um, there is no understanding on any issue. I'd rather the political parties um, go to the, if they don't find any satisfactory and go directly to the electoral commission to find out or to, or to ascertain why they think that certain things are happening. In the first place, you have the, the EC printing um, ballot booklets in 150 25 and 10. Now, you you get these because, uh, for example, if you have more, um, for example, if you have like 88, you know, um, registered voters at uh, a police station, means that you have to add 5%. That is the norm. 5%. So if you have like 5, you know, you have more than because you don't think in um, five, if you get like 88, it means that you have to uh, print five percent. So you have like four booklets. I hope you get the picture. So they are there to observe to make sure that nothing is what happens. So um, the panels be printed in such a way that there, there will be more. But the political parties are there to observe and make sure that. They have the numbers, they have the figures. And okay. then you also explain to you that um, the can, 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 Okay, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. always been, it's not a new thing. That has been the norm. Okay, so, so can I just area. ask you, because can he's, yeah, I can hear you, because the allegation is that you are, mm -hmm. the 5% the is supposed to be per polling station, but you're doing it per constituency, and you're doing more than 5%. That is the allegation, but what I do know is what I'm telling you, that 5%, you, you get a picture. Yes. So if the political parties are there and they, they, they have the, the right to affect, affect their um, skills, to affect their skills, now, they affect their skills, they also affect their skills when it gets to the polling station, um, we, we, we. I think we've lost Madame Sylvia. I know that uh, she was trying to respond uh, to the allegations raised by the NDC, but there are still many things that we don't know. Can we try and raise her again so we can clarify more of the matters uh, for proper understanding? Madame Sylvia, I know speaks for the Electoral Commission. We just lost her on the phone lines there. We're trying to raise her uh, back on the phone so she can explain the matters to us she's telling us about what is ideal but apparently per what the ndc is saying that is not what they discovered was happening on the ground there's plenty more that we are not sure of um, stay with us you're watching the am show as and when we get the electric commission we'll continue with this conversation <laughs>